President-elect Donald Trump has named veteran Wall Streeter Steve Mnuchin as the next U.S. Treasury Secretary. So about that whole draining the swamp thing? Trump built his presidential campaign on guaranteeing change for everyday Americans who weren't benefiting from the economy. He said the system was rigged and that he would end special interest groups' control over Washington. Trump also repeatedly attacked Hillary Clinton for her close ties to Wall Street. Hillary Clinton has friends that want all of these provisions, including they want the carried interest provision, which is very important to Wall Street people. So it seems a bit hypocritical that he'd named Steve Mnuchin, a hedge funder and former Goldman Sachs partner, as one of his top economic advisors. But this is just a classic case of the revolving door between Washington and Wall Street, where officials enact policies that help the banks prosper, often at the expense of average Americans. The Treasury Secretary's role is to advise the president on economic issues. This person is the president's go-to when it comes to issues like bailouts, stimulus packages, collecting taxes, and borrowing money to keep the federal government up and running. So there's a clear conflict of interest when the Treasury Secretary has such deep ties to Wall Street. Mnuchin spent 17 years at Goldman Sachs. When he left in 2002, his stake in the bank was worth a reported $46 million. But Trump wasn't a fan of Goldman Sachs or the financial elite during his presidential run. It's a global power structure that is responsible for the economic decisions that have robbed our working class, stripped our country of its wealth, and put that money into the pockets of a handful of large corporations. After leaving Goldman Sachs, Mnuchin ran a hedge fund that played a significant role in the housing crisis. The fund bought California bank IndyMac in 2008. With Mnuchin at the helm, IndyMac foreclosed on 36,000 families. In fact, he was accused of running a foreclosure machine. Of course, he's certainly not the first Treasury Secretary to have ties to Wall Street. After his 2008 win, President Obama appointed Timothy Geithner. He was the former president of the Federal Reserve Bank of New York and a man who helped engineer the bank bailout. Geithner got a lot of heat for his role in the plan that saved Wall Street, but it didn't do much to help Americans facing foreclosures and high unemployment. We know a rigged economy is when the rich get richer and use their money to influence politicians. Those lawmakers create policies that keep the wealth flowing to the top. So with yet another wealthy Wall Street insider now set to make those policies, how many of Trump's promises to help average Americans will actually come true?